As a wise man once said, life uh, finds a way. And if you've ever wondered what the world will look like if civilization collapses and nature reclaims Earth, then boy do I have a treat for you. Join me now on an adventure to places that are both haunting and beautiful, serving as definitive proof that nature takes over abandoned places in amazing ways. Amazing. Number 20, Hashima Island. Hashima Island, also known as Battleship Island, is a now abandoned island about nine miles off the coast of Nagasaki, Japan. Its only inhabitants are towering concrete buildings that have slowly been reabsorbed by nature since the locals left for brighter prospects. It was originally the site of undersea coal mines and had a respectable population of over 5,000 people. But when Japan's demand for coal was eventually overtaken by petroleum in the 1960s, the island was left to the elements. Now it's a ghost town of smashed glass, creeping vines, and rotten wood. Yep, it's basically a frat house. Number 19, Ho Tu Wan. This abandoned fishing village in Shangshan Island, China can be found 40 miles east of Shanghai. You wouldn't know it by looking at it now, but the village was once home to over 3,000 residents before it was abandoned in the early 2000s. Its remote location came with an array of issues, with food delivery being among the most serious. The inhabitants eventually realized it would be easier to leave their homes behind than to stay and struggle on. Now, a blanket of climbing plants covers each house, slowly collapsing roofs and walls. Number 18, going up. Nature doesn't always take decades to reclaim abandoned places. This escalator, thought to be in a neglected area of Hong Kong, shows how ivy can wriggle its way into any space. It's even found its way between the stairs of the escalator, meaning that thing won't be moving anytime soon. This roller coaster at an abandoned theme park in Japan looks similarly unsafe to ride. I mean, it would certainly be a scenic journey, what with all that nice greenery, but I'm not sure it would be a long one. Number 17, Land of Oz. This yellow brick road does not look like one you'd want to follow, unless you were wearing the Tin Man as armor. It was once part of Land of Oz, a long closed theme park in North Carolina. Needless to say, there are no happy plants or munchkins in sight, only creepy, overreaching trees. The park was never able to fully recover from a fire in 1975 that destroyed most of the offices, costumes, and equipment. It closed for good in 1980, and now the sound of children's laughter is replaced by the creaking of old bear trees. Number 16, Two Course Wheels. This tree on Fashion Island, Washington has an appetite like no other. The rusted bike and gnarled bark seem to raise more questions than answers about the story behind this bizarre scene. The man who claims to be the original owner of the bike tells of how, in the 50s, he accidentally left his bike in the swampy area near his home. He never bothered to retrieve it, and the tree, a mere sapling at the time, grew around the bike in the decades afterward. The bike has become something of a local attraction, which can either make Vashon Island a bucket list must, or suggest there's not too much to do there, depending on your outlook. All I know is, that bicycle owner was lucky to escape before the tree chowed down on him too. Number 15, Angkor Wat. Angkor Wat, which translates roughly to City of Temples, is a famous religious complex in Cambodia. The largest religious monument in the world, it covers 402 acres of land, and was originally a Hindu temple dedicated to the god Vishnu. It became a Buddhist temple in the 12th century, but shortly afterwards disaster struck. It's thought that intense flooding drove its inhabitants away, and it lay forgotten for hundreds of years until its rediscovery in the 16th century. In that time, and in the years since its rediscovery, it slowly became more nature than architecture, with trees and vines growing right up through the structures. Now, this mixture of incredibly intricate human design and nature has become an essential part of its character, and draws 2.6 million visitors every year. Number 14, Abandoned Mill Sorrento. As you can probably tell, this crumbling mill in Sorrento, Italy hasn't produced anything in quite some time. The gorge in which it lies was once one of the production centers of Sorrento's pasta industry, but eventually production stopped as new mills became constructed in more easily accessible locations. 
Now, nearly a century later, it almost looks more like one of the rocks than it does an important historical human structure. I'd leave the Parmigiano-Reggiano at home if you take a trip to this remnant of Pasta's past. Number 13. Reclaimed Russian Relics Nevsky Piatochok, Russia was the location of one of the most important and most lethal campaigns of the Siege of Leningrad in World War II. Three quarters of a century later, trees have judged it safe enough to grow back in and have started swallowing up various wartime leftovers. From helmets to machine guns, it seems nothing's off the menu here for the trees, which grow around anything in their path. I have to hand it to our bark-covered neighbors. Only they would be brave enough to eat a grenade. Number 12. Well of Quinta da Regalera The major inconvenience of descending all of these winding stairs to get water out of this now decaying well pretty much explains why faucets were invented. The abandoned well is found on the grounds of the Quinta da Regalera estate in Sintra, Portugal and is a spooky contrast to the grandeur of the estate. Some have speculated, due to the eight-pointed star symbol at the bottom, that the moss-covered well was once used for occult rituals, which would make a visit even creepier. Plus, the well connects to a vast, dark underground cave system. So bring a flashlight, as well as a heaping handful of courage if you ever decide to explore. Number 11. Abandoned Railway, Taiwan this defunct logging railway in Taiping Shan National Forest in Taiwan has become such a popular trail for hikers now that trains no longer use it to transport wood. It's so overgrown, moss-covered, and rotted now that it's hard to imagine trains whizzing around the foggy woods on the tracks. In many ways, it looks more like a natural feature of the forest than something man-made, and in a few decades it'll barely be visible at all really makes you think about how the world might look if civilization ever collapses. Eventually, there'd be only the slightest hint we were ever here. Number 10. Church of saint etienne le vieux Despite its still impressive beauty, the Church of saint etienne le vieux in Calvados, France has had a troubled history. It thrived for a while after its founding in the 10th century, but was badly damaged by siege weapons in 1417 during the Hundred Years' War. Then, in 1944, during the Second World War, it was struck by a shell that was intended for some nearby German tanks. This was a blow it would never recover from, and now, with all its windows as glass long gone, the only thing inside is stone, iron, and plants. Number 9. Kolmanskop Nature's power to reclaim isn't limited to plants. If there's anything Star Wars has taught us, it's that sand is... It's coarse, and rough, and irritating, and it gets everywhere. Indeed, all that remains of the once-bustling Namibian diamond mining town of Kolmanskop is a bunch of houses full of sand. Kolmanskop began to decline in the 1950s, when more lucrative diamond deposits were found elsewhere, leading locals to move away. Soon, Kolmanskop was abandoned and the surrounding desert moved in. It's become a popular destination for photographers, artists, and tourists due to its unique and surreal scenery, but a nightmare for Anakin Skywalkers everywhere. Number 8. Windcliff In Dutchess County, New York, there lies an old mansion in the woods. Notorious as a haunted hotspot among locals, the mansion was built in 1853, then abandoned in the 1950s after changing hands several times. In the seven decades since its abandonment, parts of the mansion have collapsed and the surrounding flora has slowly crept in. Even with its many owners over the years, the plants that have forced their way around and inside show the mansion really only belongs to the forest. Number 7. Parisian Paradise La Petite Centure, or Inner Circle Line, was a railway constructed to supply and connect Paris's fortified walls and railway terminals in the 1800s. It's been out of service since 1934, which has given nature plenty of time to move back in. It looks incredible when the unusual biodiversities of wildflowers bloom in the summer, which is certainly a little different from the usual gloominess of abandoned places. There have even been initiatives to turn the whole line into a big park, since that's basically how people use it these days. So much for don't play on the railway tracks. Number 6. Fish Mall Finally, a mall that fish can enjoy too! The New World Mall in Bangkok was closed in 1997 after it was found to have broken countless building regulations. 
Then, in 1999, a fire burned the roof off, allowing rainwater to slowly fill the building's lower floors. This turned the mall into a giant mosquito breeding ground, which locals were understandably concerned about. Instead of building an expensive new roof, they threw in a load of tilapia fish to eat the mosquitoes. The tilapia thrived in their environment, and the population boomed, providing a little-known curiosity for locals and visitors alike. Number 5. Ice Apartment, Russia Needle ice is a phenomenon that occurs when a surface is above freezing, but the air is below freezing. Liquid in the surface is brought up to the air, where it then freezes into a column. It normally occurs on soil, but somehow it managed to overtake this frozen, abandoned apartment in Yetkerinburg, Russia. Someone clearly didn't pay their heating bill. That's nothing. You should have seen my college house bedroom when the central heating was off. Number 4. Abandoned Hotel it's been a long time since last orders were called at this bar, but I guess you could bring your own booze if you're really thirsty. This abandoned hotel in southern Europe used to look quite fancy at one point, but is now way past its prime. It looks more like a level from a post-apocalyptic video game than it does a luxury hotspot, though it could be an ideal holiday destination for passionate urban explorers. Number 3. Fighter Jet Graveyard the Yakovlev Yak-28 was a combat aircraft used by the Soviet Union between 1958 and 1971. You won't see any in the air anymore, as they've long been replaced with newer tech. But if you're desperate to see one, there are plenty laying around in this forest near Moscow, which has become a fighter jet graveyard. The overgrown bushes and vines are slowly pulling these beasts into the ground, far from the heights they once reached. Number 2. The Chatillon Car Graveyard In the Belgian town of Chatillon, there's a forest full of cars. The bizarre car graveyard was started by Canadian soldiers who were stationed in the area during and after World War II. They brought American-made cars with them, but thanks to limited trade, replacement parts were difficult to come by. Any cars that developed issues that couldn't be easily fixed ended up discarded into the hands of the local mechanic. As the Canadians stationed there began to depart, the mechanic's collection continued to grow, reaching as high as 400 cars. The mechanic held on to the cars until he died in the early 2000s and with no one to care for them, they were left to slowly deteriorate. The cars sat there for years, rusted, collapsed, and battered, like a highway abandoned or destroyed by a nuclear apocalypse. Many of them have since been removed, but visitors still report finding the odd taillight, tire, or exhaust pipe hidden among the foliage of the old car graveyard. Number 1. Chernobyl, Ukraine of all the incredible examples of nature taking back what belongs to it, nowhere compares to Chernobyl. Since the nuclear power plant's historic disaster in 1986, the area has become home to an unexpected array of wildlife. Beyond just the usual grasses, trees, and vines, the surrounding areas have seen booming populations of wild horses, moose, and even wolves, among others. These creatures' resistances to radiation has forced scientists to totally re-evaluate their understandings of animals' abilities to do so. Amazingly, some of the wildlife has even adapted to the area's high radiation levels. Some species of frog in the radiation zone have adapted darker skin to those outside the zone, which seems to reduce the amount of radiation they absorb. While some creatures in the zone experience side effects like albinism and shorter lifespans, those who thrive there suggest that even humanity's worst disasters can't hold nature down. Are you brave enough to take a trip to any of these strange abandoned places? Have you been to any others that I missed? Let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.